Good morning guys! For art class today, I thought we could make some really fun Halloween projects! Halloween is like four weeks away! I know it's a little bit early, but don't you all love Halloween? Yeah, I love Halloween! You just kind of remind me of my mom! On September 1st, she's always like, Oh, I need to get a pumpkin latte! And we're all like, calm down mom, it's like 90 degrees out! Okay, well thank you for that little tidbit, Tommy! I love Halloween, too, and I like all the decorations you put up around the classroom. Well, thank you, Quinn. This is just the start. I'm going to add more decorations each day. Yay! So cool! So, what are we doing for our Halloween projects? I want you all to work with your partners to create a picture showing off your favorite part of Halloween. But what if we can't agree on a favorite? Then you'll have to work together to find something that you both like and agree on. Oh, okay! You can find white poster paper up on the board, and on the craft tables, you'll find plenty of supplies to use. So everyone discuss with your partner what you'd like to make, and then you can start when you're ready. All right, David, what's the first thing you think of when I say Halloween? One, two, three, go. Pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Good one. But seriously, David, what should we do? I don't know. My favorite part of Halloween is smashing the pumpkins the next day. Same. That's why we're friends. I don't know how we would draw smashed pumpkins, though. It would be all guts. Good point. Let's keep thinking. What's your favorite part of Halloween, Ella? I like trick-or-treating and getting candy. Me too. Let's draw a Halloween bucket with candy inside. Okay. Yay! Hey, guys. I forgot to mention. When we're all done, we can vote on who has the most creative Halloween project. And the winner will get 10 extra minutes at recess. Whoa! That's so cool, Miss Gina! But everybody's probably just going to vote for themselves. To make things fair, you cannot vote for yourselves. We're obviously going to have the best project. And we can't vote for ourselves? I know, right? Not cool! Alright, Quinn. 10 extra minutes at recess is life-changing. What's your favorite part of Halloween? Um, I don't know. It's it's hard to choose. I like, I like candy, and I like watching Halloween movies. Same. This is going to be hard. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Hocus Pocus. I like that one, too. Do you know how to draw witches? No, I'm not very good at drawing. Me either. Oh, I know something easy we could draw. What? Let's just draw a skeleton. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And maybe we can make it pretty, like a Day of the Dead skeleton with lots of colors and designs on it. Perfect! I'm so glad you're my partner, Quinn. Do you mind getting the art supplies? Those spiders are creeping me out! No problem! You stay here and brainstorm what it's going to look like. I'm just going to sketch out the bucket, and then we can draw the candy, and then we can color it in. Good idea! Should we make our jack-o'-lantern happy or scary? Let's make him scary! Oh no! All the girls are starting already, and we don't even have an idea yet! Let's just draw candy or something! But the girls next to us are already doing a candy bucket! Who said anything about a whole candy bucket? Let's just draw one piece of candy with vampire fangs! <sighs> you have such a beautiful mind, David! Tell me more! What's a very innocent looking candy that nobody would ever suspect is a vampire? That's easy! Candy corn! Exactly! So we'll make a big giant candy corn with fangs and we should make him chasing something. Mmm, I got it! My baby sister! Perfect! You go get the paper, I'll go get the markers. Besties! <laughs> Let's just start with markers and then we can add glitter if we want. I love glitter! What kind of candy should we draw in our bucket? Um, Skittles! Those are my favorite! Okay, let's do Skittles and maybe a lollipop and a chocolate bar! Okay, if you can draw it, I can color it in! What do you think of the size of this candy corn? Is it too big? Yeah, it's too big! We still need to draw your baby sister! Oh yeah, let's start over! Do you think the shape of the pumpkin is good? Yeah, that looks really good! Don't forget the stem at the top! Oh yeah! I see some really cool pictures out there. I can't wait to see them when they're done. Okay, Quinn, focus. You can do this. There's a skull above the cubbies if you need to copy it. Oh, yeah, good idea. Hey, cheater, cheater. No copying. 
Guys, it's not copying if you want to use something around the room for reference. Yeah! Okay, fine, whatever. All right, David, how does this look? Um, what are those lines behind the baby? It's supposed to look like she's running. I don't know, man. It kind of looks like a fart. Well, she does that too, so I guess it's realistic. Okay. I kind of smudged the glue on his outline. Don't worry, it looks great. We can always just add more glitter if we need to. Okay. It kind of looks like the Grinch, which is really cool. Are you sure? I don't want it to look weird. Don't worry, it looks super good. I think I'm done drawing. Do you want to color it in? Yes, and I'll write trick or treat at the top too. This is exciting, guys. I'm loving everything I'm seeing. I have a good idea. Let's use some flowers for the eyes. I like that. Can you look to see if there's yellow? I think pink and yellow go so pretty together. Yeah, I see some yellow in here. I think we're ready to start coloring. Can I color it? I want to give him bright green eyes like mine. Okay. Wow, girls, that jack-o'-lantern looks amazing. I know, right? It looks like a professional drew it. But no, it was just me. Oh no, Miss Gina likes their picture. Come on, man. We gotta make ours better. I'm trying. This is harder than I thought it would be. Let's try to finish up, guys. Just a few more minutes. Oh no, I'm not even close to being done. Give it to me, I'll finish it. Thanks, I'm starting to get really stressed out. I love our picture, it came out so good. Let me see. Whoa, good job. It's just like I pictured it would be. We're a good team. If you're all done, you can bring your pictures up to me and I'll hang them on the board. Everyone else, you have five more minutes. Hurry up. Don't rush me, man. It's coming out perfect. Well, guys, I just wanted to say I am so proud of all of you. These Halloween projects came out so amazing. You guys are all so creative. Miss Gina, I'm kind of sad. I messed up on the glue and glitter. Our skull got a little smudged. Don't worry, Quinn. I think it's beautiful. No one would even notice that it smudged. I noticed. Hey, wait a minute. That skull is Day of the Dead, not Halloween. Disqualified. Nobody's disqualified, Tommy. I think it's fine. This is really hard. I don't know who I'm going to vote for. Everybody's came out so good. I love Melody and Abigail's jack-o'-lantern. Thanks. I really like your skull. It came out so colorful. Yeah, I like yours too. I like the trick-or-treat bucket. It was a really good idea. Thank you. Well, guys, I have really good news. I've decided to skip voting. What? How's that good news? We want to win. What I mean is, you all worked so well together, and your projects came out amazing. So I think everybody deserves some extra recess time. Yay!